Welcome to Metric Conversions Without Math. You should have already listened to the basic instructions on how to do a metric to metric conversion without using math. That is, by moving the decimal point. Keep in mind that this is the first problem I'm giving you, and this is written specifically for the Anatomy 10A lab at Mount San Antonio College in Walnut, California. I review the six steps that you should go through to do the conversion problem. Number one, start with what you have, that is know the unit that you're starting with and know where that decimal point is located. Number two, find the same decimal point on the number line where you're starting. Number three, write this given number on the number line. Number four, find the desired unit or the unit you're looking for on the number line. Number five, Find the decimal point for this new unit. And then number six, you just fill in the blanks in between with zero. This is what you should do. Hopefully you remember these instructions from the last video. Let's get started. Here's the first problem. Let's say I want you to convert six meter into these different units. Okay, we're gonna take one at a time. I give you this to begin with, because that's where you need to start. On the test, however, you cannot, this will not be given to you, so you have to memorize this or draw this out for yourself. It's not too hard, I think, I'm sure you can do it, but, uh, but whatever you do, make sure you memorize this little drawing here, so that you can draw on your own. At this point, if you want to try this on your own, go ahead, Advance to the next slide when you are ready because I will explain how to do each one of this individually. Okay, let's take the first problem. We are given six meter and I want you to convert it to kilometer. So in other words, right now the decimal point is understood to be here. Okay, remember the decimal point is always to the right of that column. Meter is in this column right here, so the number 6 would be here. This decimal point that you see is the same thing as that decimal point because we're in the same column, we're in the unit uh, of meter, okay? However, the new column I want to be in is over here, okay? Now I put a little dash because that's the prefix. Kilometer is what we want, right? So we want to be in this column. Well, when we're in this column, the new decimal point is always to the right of this column. So the new decimal point will have to be here. So the new decimal point will be here. And then you fill in the spaces in between with zeros. So thus, the answer is decimal point. Zero, zero, six. Okay, so six meter is the same thing as point zero zero six kilometer. Okay, we're gonna now move to the next problem. Once again, go ahead and do it on your own. Go to the next slide when you're ready. Okay, now let's say I want to go into the centimeter column, okay, centimeter column. So once again, this is where I'm starting, okay, the meter column is where I'm starting, so the number six will be here. The decimal point is always to the right of this column, so when we write the number six like this, it's understood that the decimal point will be here. This decimal point and that decimal point is the same thing. Okay, we're starting in this column. The column we want to end up with is the centimeter, which is this column. So when we're in this column, the location of the new decimal point is to the right of that column. So the new decimal point is here. Which means you're going to have to fill in the blank in between with zeros. So, the answer is 600 centimeter. Okay, this decimal point has been moved over that way. Okay, 
Yeah, I hope that makes sense. Okay, 600 centimeter is the same thing as 6 meter. Go to the next line when you're ready. Let's say now we're starting the same column as the meter column, but I want to end up in the millimeter column, which means in this column. So once again, we start with the, me the meter column, which is here. The decimal point is always understood to be to the right of it. So here, the decimal point is written here. This decimal point and that decimal point is the same thing. So I'm going to put the number 6 in that space. But I want now to take it to this column, the milli column, okay, that's the unit I'm interested in. When we're in this space, the decimal point will now have to be to the right of it, which is here. Okay, So this is the new decimal point, and I fill in the spaces with 0, 1, 2, three zeros, and that's my answer. Six meter is equal to six thousand millimeter, and the new decimal point is understood to be right behind it. Okay, so this decimal point and that decimal point is the same thing. Continue on to the next problem when you are ready. Okay, I hope you get the hang of this by now. We're starting with 6 meter. When we're in the meter column, we'll be in this column. So where's the decimal point? Yes, it's to the right, this decimal point. So we fill in 6 here. This decimal point is also the same decimal point here. Okay, now we want to go to the micrometer column, which is way out here. This is the micrometer column. When we're in this micrometer column, the new decimal point will have to be to the right of it, so we'll be, have to be here. So, the answers would be not yet complete, so you have to fill in the zeros. All of these blanks here will have zeros, so the answer is 6 million. Okay, space is too small for me to write, so I'm going to write it below. Okay, 6 meter is equal to 6 million micrometers. Okay, this answer should be written here, but like I said, it's, it's too small of a space. Because I just took these numbers and I brought it down. Okay, so 6 zeros, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Yes, indeed, 6 meter is 6 million micrometers. I hope this makes sense. If you did this well, that's great. Continue on to problem number 2.